Hi guys, how are you? Uh, we are going to talk to today about how to make um, equation balancing. Uh, we are going to use some easy technique, some easy strategy to make it easy, piece of cake for you. Okay, okay. The strategy states that we should dry it down. All the metals first, following by non-metals. After finishing metals and metals, let's, uh, uh, let's write down halogen, hydrogen following by oxygen. So let's go for an example. Here, what, what, what are the metals? Chromium. Okay. Okay, the other reactant doesn't have any metals. So let's go for non-metal. Nitrogen. Uh, of course, uh, sulfur is more preferred than nitrogen. Okay, nitrogen following by we finish metal and non metal. Let's go with for hydrogen and oxygen. So, how many chromium we have here, guys? One, yeah, perfect. Sulfur is one, nitrogen here is uh, yeah, here ammonia. Here it's only one nitrogen, but times it two, so it's going to be two. And don't forget here the nitrite here is one nitrogen times two, so two and two is four. And hydrogen here is ammonia for hydrogen, but times it two, so it's going to be eight. Perfect. Oxygen here is two in nitrite, so two oxygen times two is four. And here we have four oxygen sulf sulfate, so it's going to be it as well. Okay, let's go for products. Okay, okay, according to conservation law, we yeah, the types and the kinds of product should be the same types of reactant so let's just write them down without even checking what what we have here in the product so again chromium okay sulfur nitrogen hydrogen Finally, oxygen. Okay. How many chromium we have in the product is one. Sulfur is one as well. Nitrogen. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, sorry for this. Yeah. Okay. Here, uh, two nitrogen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here, one nitrogen. Yeah. So one and one is two nitrogen. Okay. Hydrogen is four. Oxygen, we have four in sulfate and two in nitrate, so it's going to be four and two is six. Yeah. Okay. So let's start balancing. Okay. So one and one, okay. Chrome one and one is fair enough. Sulfur one and one is fair enough. Okay. Okay. Nitrogen here is four and here nitrogen is two. Is it fair, guys? No, of course. So we should do what time? Yeah, okay, let's multiply here by two. Let's use the color first. Okay, so two nitrogen, and of course, after adding a new coefficient, we had to, we have to multiply the new coefficient with the whole molecule. So it's going to be two nitrogen. Yeah, okay. Uh, state okay. Let's state here two nitrogen. So okay, it's expressed. So hydrogen two times four is eight. So Eight hydrogen and oxygen two and two is four plus four is going to be eight. Okay. Okay. There is another mistake here. Here I said two times one. No. I, I, here I have two nitrogen. So two times two is four nitrogen, not two. Okay. So okay. It seems like balanced here. Chromium one one sulfur one one nitrogen four and four hydrogen eight and, and finally oxygen eight and eight. So it's what. It's uh, balanced. Easy, I think, guys. After uh, after making um, such uh, column of metal and metal following by hydrogen and oxygen, so it's going to be easy, very easy for you. Okay, let's uh, take another example. Okay, let's uh, take another example here. Here is boron bromide plus uh, nitric x uh, nitric acid. Uh, to give me uh, boron nitrate plus, hyd plus hydrochromic acid. So what uh, what is our strategy, guys? So it's first let's list down the metals here: boron, 
following by we finish metal don't forget we consider here hydrogen as an exceptional case we uh, we make it in the final so hydrogen is the final okay let's go for non-metal bromide following by nitrogen and we finish metal and metal so let's uh, write down finally hydrogen first following by oxygen how many boron we have here guys okay two perfect bromide six nitrogen one hydrogen uh, one as well oxygen f3 let's go for the products again according to conservation law the types of products should be the same type of reactant because nothing is recreated or nothing is what is destroyed or lost so the types of products should be the same types of reactant so let's write them down directly boron bromide nitrogen hydrogen finally the oxygen okay how many boron we have here one how many bromide hydrochloric acid one nitrogen here is a nitrate is one nitri one nitrogen but times three not the last time it is going to be three Hydrogen, hydrochloric acid one, oxygen is here in nitrate, so three times three is nine. Let's start the balancing. Okay, here is boron two, here is one. Is it fair? No. Okay, let's see what? Yeah, perfect. Make it two, so two boron, and they rewrite again. The, the, okay, let's recalculate the number of molecules after adding the new coefficient. So it's going to be two times the one of boron going to be two okay here i have nitrogen okay one in nitrate times it three so it's going to be three but don't add it to two multiply it by two it is a common mistake we found in the exam it's okay don't add it to two it's multiply it by two so three nitrogen times it two it's six okay the same for oxygen three times it three is nine times it two is eighteen why because here i have triple nitrate and add them another triple so it's going to be what yeah perfect okay okay here i have bromide six so i should be here six yeah in a different color so six hydrogen fine and six bromide Okay, fine as well. Okay. Here I have six nitrogen. And here is one. Is it fair? No. Let's add here six. So. So six hydrogen. Fine so far. Six nitrogen. And six times three is 18. So. Oh, here is boron 2 and 2, bromide 6 and 6, nitrogen and hydrogen 6 and 6, oxygen 18 and 18. So, okay guys, my recommendation for you to be patient and everything is going smoothly and easily. Don't be rushed, don't be quick. Everything is going to come by itself. Just do as we agreed. Our final strategy, write down the start with metals following by non metal leave hydrogen oxygen for the end the you are going to find it comes by itself let's go for another example okay zinc sulfide plus aluminum for uh, aluminum phosphorus okay to give me okay zinc phosphide plus aluminum sulfide okay here let's start with metals zinc here I think it's easy, we don't have even hydrogen oxygen. So another the other reactant contains aluminium as a metal. Okay, we finish with metal, let's go with the metal sulfur and finally phosphorus. How many zinc is one aluminium? Uh, perfect one sulfur. I think it's a piece of cake equation. Sulfur is one, phosphorus is one. Okay, here, yeah. Zinc again in the products. Let's write them again according to the conservation law as we agreed. Aluminium. We don't need even to recheck. 
say, is the same kinds of products, they're going to be the same kinds of, of reactant. Finally, phosphorus. Zinc is three here. Aluminium is two. Sulfur is three. Phosphorus is two. So here, let's start. I think he is, is one, here is three. Is it fair? No, let's add here three. So new coefficient. Let's, let's recalculate the number of molecules of each one. So three zinc, three zinc, three sulfur. And here one aluminum, and here two aluminum. Is it fair? No, let's add here two. Two aluminum. Phosphorus, okay. Okay, finally, here I have C, then six, then two aluminum, two aluminum, three sulfur, three sulfur, two phosphorus, two phosphorus. Okay, balance. Let's take another one here. Potassium bromide plus ferric hydroxide to give me potassium hydroxide plus ferric bromide. Okay, what yeah, uh, what have we agreed on uh, about our strategy? Okay, let's write down first metals, potassium, ferric. We finish metal. Let's go for non metal bromide. Okay, we finish metal and non metal. Well, the meaning is hydrogen and oxygen. So let's start with hydrogen. Following by oxygen. Okay. Here is in the product potassium. Okay. Let's write them as exactly as they are. Ferric. Bromide. Hydrogen. And oxygen. Okay. Here, potassium is one, ferric is one, bromide is one, hydrogen, yeah, and hydroxide, three times one, three, oxygen, same as hydroxide, three times one, three. Here, the next side, potassium is one, ferric is one bromide is three hydrogen is one oxygen is one as well so here potassium we have one potassium here one potassium so fair ferric one 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 fair bromide here is one and here is three is it fair no so what should we do perfect add a coefficient here three is it of course it is three bromide so Three potassium and three bromide. Okay, but after recalculating, so we find that potassium increased by three. So we had to uh, okay increase its coefficient in the product to three. So three potassium. Going to, it's going to come by itself, guys. Don't be rushed. Don't be quick. Just to go easily and smoothly. So three potassium, three oxygen. See, going to yeah, it's going to come now. See three oxygen and three hydrogen. Okay, finally we have three potassium, three potassium, ferric one and one bromide, hydrogen and oxygen, oxygen H one A three. So what balance? Okay, guys. We have a few examples here. Hopefully you got it. Hopefully you understood it. Okay. Let's uh, let's uh, summarize our strategy again. Start writing down metals following by non-metals, leaving hydrogen and oxygen finally. And don't forget to write hydrogen before oxygen just to avoid any unnecessary mistakes or and not to confuse yourself in the exam. Take it easy. And please follow me on the other videos. Thank you guys. Bye.